live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. It's his As a casting down, you will announce that there is a lifting up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what kind of blessing are you looking for? Before I start the series, let me go very quickly to, to that passage of the scripture, Psalm chapter number one. I will start the journey, but don't expect me to go too far. Like I said before, I'm going to make a series out of it so you will hold on as I take them point by point. But hear this from me. Here is the psalm of a man called David. He is not the author of all the psalms. So be careful when you handle them. But Psalm chapter 1 was written by David. And who is David? David is a shepherd boy. Who is David? David is not a shepherd man. He's a shepherd boy. He's not a shepherd man. He's a shepherd boy. David is somebody coming from the background of rejection. He's coming from the background of rejection. He's a man whose paternity was not clear. His paternity was in doubt and was a theological argument. The paternity of David was an issue. So David is a man coming from the end of rejection. Not being accepted. Not being received as a full member of the family that he came from. Because of how David was born, there was doubt in the heart of the father if truly he is the father of David. That is why when you read the Bible in describing David, the Bible said he is the esteem of Jesse. Confirming and giving us authentic that it was Jesse that fathered David. That will show you that there is an argument over who the father of David was. But can I say this to you? It doesn't matter whether you are rejected or accepted. When the hand of God is upon you, everyone that rejected you will run coming to you. Mm -hmm. I got some words to say. I uh, wish there's somebody here to help me preach it. Now, when the hand of God is on you, it is called blessing. When God bless you, no cause can rest on you. When the hand of God is upon you, no evil force is permitted to keep you behind. David, as a little boy, found himself in the bush. I don't know where you found yourself before now. But shall I remind you, that your location does not matter. Where you started does not matter. Where you began does not matter. What matters is the blessing of God upon your life after all. Remember what I told you about David. David had a background that made his father at a point became restless over the case of David. Ha! Maybe you are sitting down here or you're listening to me from anywhere in the world. I cannot move on without appreciating our members in diaspora. You guys are awesome. Most times, I want to talk more because of you. You seem to even enjoy the program more than those of us that are here. From your response to me. And it is encouraging. And I will always make a promise to you. I will not lower the tempo. I will highlight it. The devil gets mad. 
I will preach it till the word of God become clear. It's a promise that I make to you. I love every one of you. Sit tight. Don't go away. I'm beginning another series of thunder. All your messages towards the last series. And it was a very simple and short series, but it made so much meaning to all of you. And I bless God for that. I'm coming. You will hear more of me. There are many more to come. I have not touched grace. Relax. Stay put. I am waiting for a time I will use one microphone to speak to the world. Stay tight. I love you so much. Be getting ready for something mega from Omega. It's coming. Wherever you are all over the world, get ready. We are coming with bomb. We will hit it so hard. Oh, the devil will not rest. We will hit it so hard. Something mega from Omega is coming. Hold on. The announcement will be up soon. And you will see me come in the volume of the book that is written of me. I'm coming with fire and thunder in my mouth. I love you. God bless you. David is coming from the angle of a rejected young man. One of the worst things that can happen to anybody is for you to suffer rejection as a child. It makes life not to be stable. It makes one not to concentrate. It takes away something from you from the beginning of your life. Coming into the world to discover that you don't even know who you are and where you come from. You are treated less than others. David was treated less than others because his father Jesse never believed that he was the father of David. Bible history has it that the father of David at a time was not having anything to do with the mother. And the father believed that he was not responsible for impregnating the mother of David as to give birth to David. So the father was looking at David to be a child that was born out of outside and or out of wedlock. That was the eye with which the father was looking at David and which was what prompted the first answer that he gave to Samuel when Samuel the seer eventually came to his house to anoint a king. When Samuel finished anointing those who were in the house and asked him, he said, my sons are finished. Before Samuel insisted, now on principle, on principle, because according to the tradition of the Jews, if you've paid the bride price of a woman, any child she delivers is automatically your own, just like as it is in our place here. So, for that reason, he said it is remaining one, but that one is too small. He can be the one. Because for him, it doesn't have to be David. It should not be David. But what he didn't know was that the mother of David played a fast one on him. He didn't want to have anything to do with the mother of David. Bible history said that he wanted the maid, the servant with the mother of David to lay with him and then raise a child. Now, he entered into agreement with the lady and said, anytime she said, anytime she's ovulating, as we can call it today, that she should let him know so that he can come in unto her and then raise a child through her because he doesn't want to go into the mother of David any longer. Now, that maid went to the mother of David, according to Bible history, and then told the, the mother of David, look at what Oga said to me. Look at what Oga is planning with me. But you are so nice a woman. I cannot afford to hide this away from you. So, I decided to tell you. And the mother of David said, can we enter into agreement? I beg of you. 
tell my husband that by so so and so period that you will be set for him that he should come into your house and then lay with you there but you and I will have an agreement when that time come I will be the one to enter there and then you will be out when he comes in he will think you are the one and since there's not going to be light you will do it and it will be a secret between us and the, and the lady said to the mother of David I agree with you but promise me because if the master ever got to know this I'll be dead promise me you will let any human being know and the mother of David made a promise to her that as long as the earth is that she will not reveal it now and she said to the mother of David that as long as the earth is I will not betray you so the both of them had an agreement and in the said time it happened like that so the mother of David was now the one who went into the place where the lady was supposed to be and when Jesse came to in he sat he was laying with the maid he laid with the mother of David and she became pregnant I don't know if there's anybody hearing me she became pregnant and the husband didn't know that he was the wife that he had anything with she became pregnant and that was how David was born now when David came into the world there was a strong argument over his paternity because the father by human understanding was sure that he was not responsible but what he didn't know was that first one was played on him and you know these things I, I tell you they are transgenerational they happen in generations if you remember the same thing took place in the life of Judah somehow you still remember and, and I'm not going into, into that now I want to talk about blessing you know he, 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 he goes he was in the bloodline and it took place with Jesse now listen to this now when David was born his paternity was being argued whether he come from there or he does not come from there but all of those arguments made it so serious that David was doing what he was not supposed to do even as a member of the family everybody was intimidating him everybody talks to him anyhow anybody anybody can beat him up at any time David was treated differently from the rest of the family which was what played out the day that David went to meet the brothers at the place where Goliath was challenging them when David wanted to talk and the brother heard him you could see the Bible said that the brother scolded him and said you this stubborn boy and all of that they talk to him anyhow they don't treat him like brother he ran away from there and went to another place that is sign of the fact that he was being intimidated and humiliated in the house but there is something I want to tell a believer no matter how long you have been intimidated no matter how they humiliate you when the hand of God is on you nobody can do anything about your case when the hand of God is on you I want to talk to somebody upon whose hand Head, the hand of God is upon whose life the hand of God is that is one assurance I have in my life and that is why I can joke with anything but I cannot joke with this one thing that I know that I belong to Jesus take away everything from me but leave this one for me that is the only thing that I am sure of you can talk about me all that you care you can do anything to me all that you know but one thing is sure the the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. David came into the world and that argument was there over his paternity. He had two different challenges to face. One was the background where he is coming from. From the root of one that is linked up to root that came from Moab coming to the cause that was placed on them adding to the fact that as a member of the household of Israel of the family that he came from he was yet being rejected as not being a son of Jesse and if he's not a son of Jesse it means he's not a son of Obed and if he's not a son of Obed, it means he's not a son of Boaz. And if he's not a son of Boaz, then he cannot be a member of the family. 
with all these struggles inside his heart, when eventually the matter was settled, David wrote, I was glad when I was told, let us go to the house of the Lord. I didn't know it will ever happen in my life that I will ever be allowed to enter the house of God coming from the struggles that I have passed through as a child. I don't know who you are in this place. You have passed through struggles. You've passed through tough times. Questions have been made to you. There are some of them that you have not been able to answer even up until now. A lot of things have gone on in your life. You come from a place where you're treated like a second class citizen. You come from a place where you are handled like you are not one of them. I have a good news for you. The more they hate you the more the love of God shows up I don't know who is hating you but I know a God that is loving you I don't know who is saying no to you but I know a God that is saying yes to you I come not on the mandate of what they said I come on the mandate of the God that loved you blessed is the man that blessed walked... blessed He is not to receive blessing. He is blessed already. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Pastor Solomon, there are conditions someone will be in life. You will hear a lot of advices. There is something you will be going through in this world. Many people will come to advise you. You will hear suggestions. They will suggest from left, they will suggest from right. They will tell you go left. They will tell you go right. David said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. He was speaking from experience. He was saying what he know. Oh my God, I've, I've been there. I've gone through some things. I've been in, 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 in conditions where people will tell you something. Oh, come on now. I, I prefer it when you can talk to me from what you have been through. I prefer it when you can talk to me from what you know very well. Time didn't permit me to tell you about David because I'm about to wind up. But David's a blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that does not take advice from the ungodly. That does not take suggestion from the ungodly. Because no matter how they advise you, no matter what they tell you, they will never tell you anything that will profit you in God. Haven't had a little about David. Now, reading this scripture, he opens your eyes. He was true a lot. Many people would have suggested many things to him. People would have walked up to him and said, David, you know what? Do this. David, you know what? Do that. David, you know what? Go this way. David, you know what? Go that way. David, you know what? Follow this road. David, you know what? Follow that road. In conclusion, David came together and said, Blessed is the man. That walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. What is counsel? The counsel of the ungodly is the advice of the ungodly. He said, don't let the ungodly advise you. Don't let the ungodly tell you what to do. It might look good in the beginning, but the end will bring sorrow. The end will suggest doom. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man. Are you here today? 
they have suggested many things to you. Most of them even met you in church. But they suggested to you things that are not churchy. That is to tell you that not everyone you met in church came to serve God. Most of them came to you as friends. But there is no friendly action in their cancer. No matter how wise anybody is, don't let a wise man advise you when he's not godly. For the wisdom of a man is foolishness before the Lord. There is no wisdom of a man that can direct you to the place of God. Nobody can be wise where God is. I prophesy to you now. Every counsel of the ungodly that brought your life to a standing still. By the word of prophecy today, I correct it. Shout amen from where you are. Sit down. Please sit down. Shout amen from where you are. I correct it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Any advice from anybody from anywhere that is bringing your life down and low today I prophesy to you before you leave this house that situation won't be the same again that condition will not be the same again can I hear the loudest amen David said, Blessed is the man that walketh not, that does not walk, that does not act in the counsel of the ungodly. Are you hearing the sound of my voice today? And you have been walking in the counsel of the ungodly. Most times, the ungodly may have money. Money is not God. That they have money does not mean they should control your life. That they have money does not mean you will follow them in anything they do. They may be influential. But their influence should not take over your sense of godliness. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. I don't know the condition you are in now. I don't know the advice they are giving you already. But I pray for you today. May you not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. A lot of things will make them advise you. I wish I had time to tell you about David before we enter this scripture. You will understand what David meant when he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Many people cancelled David. David had a lot of suggestions from people. Many people gave him advice. Just like many are advising you today. Because of what you're going through. Because of what your family is going through. You have had and had and had and had. And had and had. Many suggestions. People have directed you to places. Some very dirty and rotten places. But they are directing you to go there. Because they feel you need help. But can I say this to you? Blessed is the man. Who stands firm in our God? 
against the advice of the ungodly. Don't let anybody advise you. Most times they may appear to be good. But I told you on Sunday but that there is a difference between a good man and a God man. I don't want to be a good man. I want to be a God man. But don't make mistakes. When I become a God man, he will make me a good man. Did I say that to you? Yeah, don't make mistakes. When I become a God man, it is now God that will make me good. But if I make myself good, I cannot sustain it. That is why anybody that lives in himself has work to do. Because if you lift yourself, you will always fight to remain lifted. But if God lifts you, you don't struggle. He that lifts you will keep you up there. That is why lifting, promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from the Lord. When it is the Lord that promotes you, it is difficult for anybody to bring you down. But anytime you take yourself up, you will have work to do. That is why you can't sleep. You will be restless. There is no rest of mind. There is no peace anywhere. Because you are struggling to be there. That is why I pity those who ask to be rich when they are poor. You know, there are people who ask to be rich when they are poor. Who put their hands so high. Claiming what they are not. It takes them a lot to maintain it. Come on now. But when God lifts you, it's easy and simple. You won't struggle to be there. Listen to me. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. In the counsel of the ungodly. Don't let the ungodly advise you. Nobody can give what they don't have. Most of them will advise you against your faith. Most of them will advise you against your belief. But the truth of the matter is that those that are advising you are they better than you are. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. I will not allow the ungodly to advise me. We do not belong to the same kingdom. What are you going to tell me? We do not belong to the same family. What are you going to tell me? You are coming from the place of ungodliness. While I'm coming from the place of the godly, our kingdom are apart. Our belief are apart. Whatever you tell me cannot help me. Instead, you will take good advice from the ungodly. Remain where you are and let the will of God be done. I said on Tuesday and I repeat it here instead of the ungodly to save me, let me die. If God permits me to die, it means there is another life for me. You didn't hear about that word. Instead of the ungodly to save me, let me die. Because if the ungodly save you today, he will kill you after that time. You didn't hear that one. Whatever God cannot give me, I don't need it. Whatever the ungodly will give me that God cannot give me, I don't need that thing. Because the truth of the matter is that there is no gift of the ungodly that can take you to anywhere. Their gifts cannot last. It does not last. It will not move you to anywhere. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Do not allow them to advise you. Do not allow them to direct you. Who is a man you should run away from? Anytime you see anybody that the love of God is no longer burning inside the person, shift. That person has become ungodly. Anytime you see anybody begin to criticize the things of God, that the things of God no longer make sense to them anymore, is ungodly. Don't take advice from such a person. Or run away from such a person. Or run far from such a person. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I tell you the truth from my heart. Without God, I am nothing. 
And this is one truth that I know. It is not a fact, it's a truth. This is one truth that I know. So I cannot afford to play around it. I don't have any other. I don't have any other place to run to. I don't have an alternative. I have destroyed the kingdom of the devil so much so that I cannot afford to take one step backward. Because any opportunity they have, they will fry me like plantain. And because I don't want to be fried like plantain, I have gone too far to start turning back. I'm not turning back now. Rather, I will hello till the devil gets mad. I will shout. I will see the end of this journey. Now, if I'm going to be destroyed, I'll be destroyed in his hands. If I'm going to be saved, I'll be saved in his hands. So I talk like Habakkuk. Even if the fig refuse to be a fruit, he is still the Lord God of my salvation. I preach the message. What do I do when I don't understand? What do I do when I don't understand? Even when I don't understand, he is still my God. Even when I don't know what he's doing, he is still my God. Even when I don't see it clearly, he is still my God. I don't have a choice. Every ungodly go and sleep. You will not give me cancer. It is something I cannot compromise. I may offend you in it, but I'm sorry. I can't help it. I cannot afford to hang around an ungodly person. Oh, come on now. It, there is no two ways about it. It is not doable. standing do you know the man you came to me the man you are looking at right now I didn't come like every other I'm a messenger that came with a mandate talk to me sir I carry the prophetic mandate of the God of talk yes, Nadu I was talking about blessing now listen to me listen to me failure is not a blessing disease is not a blessing Affliction is not a blessing. Look at how it works for people. Look at how people just jump into it. You are booked for fibroid operation this week. We just stepped in. Yes, sir. It's and true. tomorrow is your date. Yes, sir. It was supposed to be done yesterday and Wednesday. It's true. But the doctor was not there. Yes. And they moved it to tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, sir. And the fibroid operation they are supposed to do tomorrow is the same operation that I want to do today. Ah! Jesus. So, what am I going to do? I want to cancel the appointment you have with a human doctor. I will not give you an appointment because the physician is in the house. The Bible said, confirming the words of his servants with signs and with wonders. There are men who do the talking, but there are men who do the work. I don't belong to the group that do the talking. I belong to the group that do the work. Woman, come here. You are looking for your business money. Go and sit down. When I start praying, come. Hear me now. In the next 15 minutes, Amen. Jesus. that thing going on in your stomach Jesus. that they call fibroid, yes. you will look for it, you won't say it. Amen. Amen. Go to anywhere. Amen. Including the one who directed you here. Yes. They already arranged your things. It's true. You are actually going to the hospital today. Tomorrow, That's what you are supposed yes. to do. Tomorrow. And the operation is, is tomorrow. The operation is tomorrow. Yes, sir. But you are supposed to go there today. Today, yes. So that you can spend the night there and get ready for the operation tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, sir. But now you are in the sanctuary. Amen. You are before the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokladu. So the operation is Amen. done. Amen. Don't go to the hospital anymore. You, don't Jesus. go to see anybody anymore. Thank you, Jesus. It is over now. Amen. Amen. Come, come. I see a little child crying in the grave. 
I see a little child crying in the grave. Is there anybody here that know you? You know her? Did you, you lost your baby? Little child. Talk to me. Talk yes, to me. Sir. I want to help you. Yes, sir. Raise me your right hand up. Your right hand. Raise it up. Raise it up above your head. Above your head. Repeat this word after me. Say, Father. Father. Affliction. Affliction. Will not come. Will not come. To me. To me. A second time. A second time. Oh, yeah. Come close to me. Where is your husband right now as we talk? At work. At work. You know her? Where is he right now as we talk? At work. He's at work. Is it, is it possible your husband doesn't believe in God? He doesn't go to church. But what is happening to him is one of the deities that is in the ancient Nkwandewi. That is where it is deposited. And it is affecting him. He is struggling, but he's not making anything out of life. Yes, sir. He's suffering. But there's a man here carrying mandates. Yes, yes, Call him. Tell him. Whether as he doesn't go to church and he doesn't believe in God, whether he will agree at his own time to come and see me that I need him to see me. Let me separate him from this spirit and make him free. But for you, I don't want you to bury another child. Yeah. You have a heart for God. But the only place you know is the place where you worship. When you carry your rosary and pray, you are done. Eh? This life is deeper than we can see. Nobody lives in this world ordinary and they expect to receive the blessings of God that follow those who follow him. I will not want you to cry again. You are standing before the man carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of talk that do. God bless you. Thank you. So well with you. Because of all of these struggles that David had been through, that was why David said, I was glad when I was told that let us go to the house of God because he never knew it would be possible. After this encounter, somebody in this place will raise his voice, raise her voice and say to God, I never knew you would treat me this way. I never knew you would put my name here. I never knew you will position me where I am today. I never knew, I never knew, I never knew, I never knew. I never knew you will handle my matter this way. Oh, I, I want to talk, but oh my God, oh my God. Please tell her to wait for me. Fix me, fix me there, fix me, fix me, fix me. Great destiny in a carton. And not just a carton, a rotten the carton. I want to speak to you exactly the way I say it and I want to tell you exactly what I hear. Yes, you have a great destiny packaged but inside a rotten carton. I look at the destiny. Wonderful destiny. But what the destiny is covered and packaged with is rotten. Spoiled. And because it is rotten, nobody takes time to find out what is inside. When they look at the packaging, they discard the carton and the contents. But inside it is a great content. But it didn't start with you. Yes, sir. It is happening to everybody in the family. Yes, is there anybody here that know you? I really want to talk. I don't really know. Okay. So I can talk. Yes, sir. I want to enter into your family issue. Yes, sir. I want to get to your village. I want to get to the root of the matter. Yes, Uproot it from there. That's the only way you can be free. Amen. 
the suffering is not just for you, but for everybody. Yes, sir. You have great potentials. Yes, God told me that he deposited a lot inside of you. Yes, sir. I am not a man of God that just talk. You are supposed to be a star. Yes, sir. You are supposed to be a star singer. Yes, sir. You watch others sing today and you admire them. Yes, sir. You are a good singer. Your album will not move. You cannot minister and be accepted. You do good. You do great. People you do better than they do are succeeding. Yes, but nothing is working in your life. Yes, sir. Nobody in the family is permitted to marry. Yes, sir. But there is no way you will be free except a particular tree in River State in the place called Opobo. Yes, sir. Die now. Yes, sir. The dead of that tree will bring about the relief and the release of every member of the family. Amen. That is why you are not in marriage today. Yes, sir. You cried unto God. By right, you are supposed to be the first person that broke that history. Yes, sir. That broke the record. Yes, sir. And you got married. Yes, sir. It was as though the heaven has been loosed. Yes, sir. It was as though you were going to have a wonderful marriage. Yes, sir. Your husband was not a bad man. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, he sir. was not a bad man. Okay, Contrary to what you know. The only thing is, he had character issue. Yes, sir. The only thing is, he had a weakness. Yes, sir. And I said, if you were here on Sunday, that there are men who have weakness, but there are men who are wicked. Yes, sir. He was not wicked. He, was, he had weakness. Yes, sir. Though his weakness was much because of what was pursuing you. Before he met you, it was not like that. It was not that serious. But when he came in contact with you, because there is a cause in your family that nobody will marry, that cause made it that he will do what he is doing so that you can go. So that the marriage can end. And he made the marriage not to last. Yes, sir. For about 10 years, there yes, about. Yes, it's 10 years now. You have been without a husband. But can I help you? Yes, sir. Your destiny stunted. Your life being held up. Everyone in the family, nobody is seeing the light of the day. I must prophetically get to Opobo now if you will allow me. Yes, sir. Please. In do. River State. I will prophesy from here. Please. Do. And the evil three will die. And by the death of that evil tree, every one of you can be free. Amen. You meet people, people meet you. Yes. But you are unable to get anything. People who come to you are not the people who should come. You have a lot of things upstairs. Yes, sir. You are a good writer. Yes, sir. You write movie, people will read and shout. Yes, sir. But that's where it ends. Yes, sir. You write stories. People will read and say, wow. Yes, sir. You have a lot of endowment. When I say you are a star, I mean you are a star. Yes, I see clearly who you are. But if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? When you are, your foundation is destroyed, you will struggle in pains. You will labor in pains. But yet, nothing will come out of it. Help me, sir. You are not supposed to be unmarried now. You've done everything. Yes, sir. No relationship lasts. No, people that come around you are people that are nothing to write home about. Yes, Can I help you now? Yes, sir. Please do. Can I help you now? Yes, sir. I want you to, with your mouth, yes, sir. mention the place where you come from in the Popo. Yes, sir. Mention the place. Manila's compound in Opopo town. Say it one more time. Manila's compound, Opopo town. Raise me your two hands up. Remove the microphone from her. Raise me your two hands up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Sitting in the place of my office as the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk Nadu. I journey into your compound now. Is a generational thing. Nobody in the family 
was, is, allowed to marry and wear wedding gown? Nobody. But now, my Bible said, if the Son of Man shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. I enter into your matter under strong prophetic unction. I cause the evil tree to die now. 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 Settle. 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 Can I do something very quickly for you? There is a sacrifice that was offered 18 years ago at a place called Afo Marker. Yes, sir. That's my place. There's a sacrifice that was offered there. As long as the spirit that received the sacrifice move around without staying at a place, that is how every member of your family keep running around without being stable. No stability in marriage. Yes, sir. No stability in finance. Yes, sir. None of you is permitted to marry and stay. I must go to a full marker now. Collect back the sacrifice that was offered. Make it known and void. Amen. Remove the strength of the sacrifice. Amen. And carry all of you, every member of the family, and put upon Christ. Amen. The only atonement for our freedom. The lamb that was offered as our own sacrifice. And the Bible said, no other sacrifice shall any man make except the sacrifice that is made in Christ Jesus. Every other sacrifice does not stand any ground. Does not hold any spiritual legal right to operate against the child of God that believes. If you believe in the grace that I carry, in the next 15 seconds, I travel to a for Omaka as I make known avoid the sacrifice that was offered years ago. I nullify it. I stop its power and efficacy. I release your family from now. I release all of you from now. It shall no longer hold you down. It shall no longer stop you anymore. More. I free all of you now in the name of Jesus Christ sitting in the place of my office this case is here by set set David was coming from the point of nobody believing in his purpose are you here today Nobody seemed to believe your purpose in life. Nobody seemed to believe in you. Nobody seemed to believe that anything good can come out of you. I have a good news for you. If you are such a person, what you need is a blessing. And that blessing is in this place. You didn't hear me. Come. What if I tell you that I can stand here now and say it will not happen again because it has happened before. If they call you on the phone now and tell you that your husband is dead now, you won't be surprised. The reason is you know the condition he was before you left. Yes, sir. You know he's done and out. Yes. For the past four days, he has not been able to talk. Except this. He has not been able to eat. Yes, sir. Even the pap, you people were forcing him to feed him before. Since yesterday, he hasn't been able to take it. Yes, sir. And if this one happened now, it will be the number three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, there are things that when they begin to happen in your life, you know they are not ordinary. You know that something is after you. Let me at this juncture say this to you. Everyone under the influence of my voice. From wherever you hear me today, 
anything that is after your life affecting and fighting you badly today I stop that thing how many of you know that strange things kill faster oh come on now strange spiritual matters kill faster and the worst part is that when they are killing you you don't have solution to them when they are dealing with you you don't have solution for them if you believe in the grace of this commission wherever you are right now hearing the sound of my voice they will not share your testimony behind you People are already talking rubbish. Yes, sir. People are already calling you names. Yes, ma'am. The sister came to the house last week and said to you, she will not say anything first yes, until anything happened to her brother. Yes, man of God. That she will come after you. Yes, sir. That they warned their brother, but he still went and married you. Exactly, sir. But the truth of the matter is that even you, you don't know what is happening. Can I help you? Yes, man of God, help my life. Can I help you? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, stand on your feet. When you were five years of age, out of the sickness that you were suffering, when your mother gave birth to you, you became sick very early. They were carrying you from place to place. Every effort they made proved abortive till they told your mother that you had connection with the water spirit when you were five years of age she took you to the river she entered into a covenant with the river people offered sacrifice there and asked them to have you as a gift and their wife she made that sacrifice when you were five years. And they put you inside something like baskets. Put some stuff inside and took you close to the water at the middle of the night. Dropped you by the shore of the water and made all their sacrifice. As a result of all of those sacrifices, the water spirits now took you to be their own. Now, that was the reason when you became pregnant for Chinedu from Ihitu Obama, yes, from the family of Okolie, yes, sir. he died. Yes, man of God. You got married to Longinus. Yes, sir. From Omunochi. Yes, from Ahoda family. Ahoda. Yes, he died. Yes, man. Now, you have married this husband. This one now is dying at the hospital somewhere here. Yes, sir. But there is a man before whom you are standing. The doctors are trying their best. The reason they still left him there is because his young, younger sister is a nurse there. Yes, they have done what they know. It is not a medical matter. Every test they do is showing that the young man is okay. But the young man is dying. Yes. Open me your two hands. When you were five years, they took you to the river and offered you to them. Now you are an adult. Can you tell Tokunadu to step in and take over? Yes, sir. So that it will become a battle between me and the water spirit. Then you can stay aside. Can I do that for you quickly? Yes, man of God. We don't have all the time. Your husband's case is critical now. Can I do that very quickly? Yes, sir. Yes, Are you sure? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I will tell you what you will do for me now. You will put water in your mouth. Watch your mouth and pour the water away. Because by 2 a.m. this morning, you were in between sleeping and being awake. 
you saw it was clear to you that somebody came and kissed you yes sir and that is that spirit somebody get me water from anywhere <laughs> I stand in the gap between you and them. They will no longer see you. They will no longer fight you. When they call you, they will see Tokladu. In the next 20 minutes, both the doctor, the nurses, everyone in the hospital will be surprised. Next thing to me, these cases are not physical. They are spiritual. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God. Your husband will stand up because from the beginning, nothing was wrong with him in his house. He was dragging something with the spirits. And you don't fight with spirit except you are a spirit. If you are not a spirit, you don't enter into the battle of the spirit. Because the deep searches for the deep. It is when you are a spirit, you fight with spirit. When you are a human, you fight with fellow human. Go and have your husband. He's fine. Come, come, they have, they have misled you. They have misled you. Hearing this message now is breaking your heart. I spoke to you the other time. They have advised you. You have gone to native doctors. You have offered sacrifice. Looking for your business money. What happened to your business money? Your door was not broken. Nobody entered the house. You have the key to the house. You have the key to the save. The save was not broken. The save was not chattered. The what happened to the money inside? Then what happened? Hey! Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You opened the safe. You could not see a dime. I died, sir. But you are sure you locked it. Yes. And Nobody key. opened it. Nobody opened the, the door. key is with so you. The door was not opened. Was not the safe was not was opened. Not Nobody touched I it. Saw. Then what happened? They have taken you to places. You have oh seen those God. who call themselves prophets, but they have not been able to find out what happened. You have gone to three different native doctors. You have not been able to find out what happened. Happened. You are crying, you feel like dying. The worst of it all is that debt is hanging on your neck. They are troubling you every day. They are coming after you every day. But I have a question. What happened to the money? The money was in the safe. The safe was locked. The house was locked. Ladies and gentlemen, there are spiritualities you cannot run away from. There are powers that exist in this world. And that that is the only reason it takes a blind man not to know what we stand for anytime you see people like us you have seen people who are close to the god our maker this generation don't want to hear it but you must hear it i will highlight it till it becomes clear you've been to places we can do what many doctors cannot do we can tell you what they cannot tell you we can offer solutions they cannot offer Offer solutions they cannot offer, and that is part of what I'm going to do now. That is part of what I'm going to do now. Let me say this to you nobody broke in there, nobody, the key they were nobody the opened the safe, they were all locked. The only thing is that no you discussed with the woman that will travel with you. 
to Dubai. Yes. You have your visa. Yes. Everything is set. Yes. Sir. When the both of you were talking, you told her yes. how much dollars you have changed already. Yes, to travel. You told her I you are this. set for the travel. Yes. And she is your friend. Yes. Her name is Jane. Come down. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Put yourself together and I will talk to you. You told her already. Put yourself together and I will talk to you. You told her already. She did something I will explain to you right now. Calm down. Calm down. You told her that the both of you will travel together. You told her the both of you will travel together so that she will go and show you where she buy from. Yes, it's true. You are very correct. She's and now, my and she did something. That night, she told you something. She said to you, okay, since you're already changing dollars, yes. that she has $200. If you will change. Exactly. You said yes, you need. Ah. She went home. The next day she brought two hundred dollars. You changed the two hundred dollars ah. and gave her an IRA. Carried the two hundred dollars. Went back. Opened the safe. Put it there. The two hundred dollars magneted all the money. Now, now, now. Can you put yourself together? Put yourself together. Put yourself together. Somebody holla talk on that do. One day, he called on prophet Ezekiel. He said, son of man, shall these bones live? Ezekiel turned around and said, thou alone knowest. And he said to Ezekiel, professor, what is prophesy? Invocation. Invocation. He said to Ezekiel, professor, he said to Ezekiel, Professor, ma -ta 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 -ta. if somebody can collect $200, go to a native doctor. Give the native doctor 72000 The native doctor prepared and prepared and cooked and cooked and rubbed up on $200. The $200 entered into the savings of a woman who has been saving. Collected all the money that the brother sent to her from abroad. Collected both her own and the brother's own, changed them to dollars, and said, I want to move my business forward. And only $200 entered there and collected everything. And she's moving from place to place, running from here to there. And now she has run and run and run. And she ran into the God of talk and do. And she's standing one on one and face to face with me. What am I going to do? The woman has bought her ticket. She is supposed to be traveling next week, Tuesday. But today is Thursday. And she is traveling with both her money and her own money. But something will happen now. Matadagas and dedos. If you make noise, talk and I do, we talk. If there is a shout in this house, Talk not do we talk. Wipe your tears. Relax your hearts. After this meeting. Back to your house. Go with your key. Open your door. Open your safe. They know one thing, they don't know the other. The same way the money took off. That is how the money is returning now. When power jam power, the lesser will fall for the greater. Everyone in Toknadu family, Hala! 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 The money is coming! 
It is power against power. It is force against force. It is kingdom against kingdom. As you get back home, open the safe. Your money is complete. In tax, without touch. That two hundred dollars she gave you will even be there because it is your own. You gave her naira to collect it, so all of them will be there intact, no shaking. Collect back your money. She will know you have collected your money, and there is nothing she can do about it. Sitting in the place of my office, as the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk and do. This case is here, man. Settle, settle, settle. It's over. Do you have a child at Madonna University? You have a child that is schooling at Madonna University? Yes, sir. Can you afford 300? God bless you. Can you afford 300 naira? Yes, sir. Go and bring 300 naira. Sorry, sir, we have disturbed your work. I didn't know you will accept to come. You don't like to go to church. We were here worshiping the Lord when your wife came out. As she was coming out, I saw a little baby crying in the grave. I stopped her. And I said, a little child is crying in the grave. I asked her if she lost her baby. And she said, yes. Then I told her to raise her right hand and pray that that thing that happened is an affliction, that it will not happen a second time. And she prayed. In the course of her making that prayer, I discovered that you as a young man, you are struggling but nothing is happening where you are. Yes. Then I told her, I asked her, I said, where is your husband? That was when one of my deaconesses came out and said she know you. And her sister also came out and they said they know you. Then spiritually I traced what was happening to you. I discovered that the spirit that is battling you is coming from a place they call Nkwonewi, ancient Nkwonewi. Then I said that she should call you and see if you will accept to come because you don't go to church. Yes. I said they should, she should call you and see if you will accept to come and see me so that I will break the connection that is connecting you with that spirit. You are not a lazy young man, but nothing is happening around you. Because the truth of the matter is that according to the Bible that I carry, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? If I keep you quiet, the same thing will keep repeating. And now that you are here, can I help you? Yes. So that you can carry your keke and jump back. Yes. Can I help you? Open me your hands. Even if you don't go to church, do you believe in the power of God? Yes. You believe in the power of God? Yes. Not going to church is not good. Start coming to church. You need to be close to God. A lot of things have happened that you found it difficult to believe. I don't know you. I've not seen you before. You hear of Toknadu, right? Yes. This is the man they call Toknadu. Where do you live? Where do you live in Abba? My family house or where I live now. Where you live now, you know. Is there my cross rail? Across Beach rail. Yeah. Mechelin. Beach lane. Beach lane. Beach lane. Mm. That's rail. where you live now. Yes. Open me your hands. Sitting in the place of my office. As the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Toknadu. I separate you from that spirit. Amen. It will not see you. It will not harm you. Amen. It will not collect anything from your hand anymore. Amen. From now, you will make progress. Amen. God bless you. You are free to go. You have done him good that money cannot buy. God bless you.
Mama, do you have the 300? Yes, sir. I want to do something for you. Where do you worship, ma? Seventh Adventist. Seventh, Adventist. Seven days Adventist or seventh? Seven day Adventist. The Lord said I should prophesy over your child at Madonna University that you people will not cry over that child. That child is a star. God has programmed that child to use the child to wipe away tears from the family. But the enemy is planning to cut short the life of that child. In the month of November, the enemy has made his plan and drawn his program. But God said, this is the month of August. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. After August is September, October, then November. That is why I asked you for 300 naira. I will redeem her within this month to the month of November. The plan of the devil will not work. Amen. Do you believe in prophecy? Yes, sir. Yes, I believe. The child is from your womb. I want to release a prophecy. Hear me as I prophesy. I get into this matter deeply. Child, in her 300 level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not since recently. All secrets belong unto God. Yes, sir. Where there is no vision, people perish. I get in there now by the word of prophecy. Give me, man. You are touching me. Yes, sir. Go. Go. Nina, come on, 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 come here. Let me show you a sample. You fell down from KK. You people were running and trailer past you people and you fell down, your neck broke. Now, now, listen. If I take cancer from the ungodly and I lose the oil in me that makes me the carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of talk and I do, then how will I do these things that I do now? How will I now step into the matter of this man? How will I now from here and prophesy where he laid foundation of a building in 1983 and the same 1983, a woman went there and placed something from 1983 till today. He has not been able to finish. Talk all you want to talk, but give me chance and shift. I will not walk in the council of the ungodly. I will not allow them hang around me so that I can still hala matatekete yala. As long as I keep hallowing and matatekete yala. Hold on, brother. I am not about to go down. For greater is he that is in me than he that dwells in the world. It is not of he that will let nor he that run it. It is of God that showeth mercy. When the oil is still flowing, anything is possible. Brother, so long as I carry double letter, I am unstoppable. I am not begging for it. I am not pleading for it. There is something I carry that is unusual. From here right now, I am heading to Idat or not. Where I will go and speak to the foundation that was laid in 1983. And I will tell the devil, remove your hand. And he won't have a choice. And one thing is that I'm not speaking only from the point of power. I'm speaking from the point of authority. And authority is superior to power. Because it is authority that manages power. Power expresses, but authority manages it. Authority control power. Sir. Sir. They have done a lot of things to you. True, Sent sir. different sicknesses to your body. It's true, sir. You are standing before the man carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk Nadu. Yes, sir. They've dealt with you and they are dealing with you. But here and now, I prophesy into your life. Thank you, Papa. From today, it won't be the same again. Did you hear what I said about your building? Did you hear what mm -hmm. I said about your building? No, sir. No, sir. 
I said you started a building in 1983. It's true, sir. Can you remember it was 1983? It is so. It was so. It was here. Here and now, I sit in the place of my office. Yes, sir. Give me your hand. Oga Jonas. Yes, sir. 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 This is the man. Thank they you, call sir. Talk. Talk and I do. Demon destroyer. that prophesy with divine instruction. Yes, sir. Here and now, yes, sir. everything they have done against you in your village, yes, they are all ending right now. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. I free you from them all. Yes, sir. Talk no do. Enough is enough. They won't destroy you. Their powers are over. Amen. I remove their hands from your life. Amen. I remove their hands from your head. Amen. I flee you now. Thank you. From next week, you will know that there is a God Talk that, you. that is bigger than all. The Lord bless you, sir. God bless you. Look at me. Look at. Look straight into my eyes. Do your neck like this. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Do it like this. Oh, yeah. Shift it to the other side. Now, listen to me. Why will I take counsel from the ungodly? If I take counsel from the ungodly, how will I do what I am doing? And this is what I live for. Have you done that? Oh, yeah, come. Leave your head. Leave your head. Leave your head. Relax your head. Don't touch it. Relax it. No, you are not relaxing. Don't hold it. It will not fall. Relax it. Now, now, look here, now, look here. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Young man, when you finish checking yourself, you can go and sit down. <laughs> Open your mouth, open your mouth. Say, my mother. My mother. Will not die. Will not die. My mother will not die. In Jesus' name. Are you coming here for the first time? No, sir. Have you been here? Okay, you will know her. Oh, see on your car. Oh, see on your car. Eh? Wow. Okay. There is a force in Mbisa I want to fight now. Can I fight that force? Yes, sir. Matanala yaga yandudu. Brede yalaga yaga dududush. Listen, there are some things that is happening. Look, we are going to move away from some sentiments. Pastor Chris, if a native doctor can evoke the spirit of a man that is dead and ask him to go after the wife and use spiritual forces to make the man go have something to do with the wife and her body begin to peel. Eh? Yes, sir. Is that what is happening? Yes, sir. 
vote to the man and he went to have something to do with the wife that is alive her body began to peel she's alive but her skin is peeling as a result of what that man spiritually did and injected into her body if a native doctor can do such thing what should a prophet like me do and we are doing hiding under some kind of sentiments that doesn't make sense Mapu petete leba aka laka zanga. Go and sit down. Excuse me, my sister. Do you believe in me? Yes, sir. You believe in the grace yes, that sir. I carry? Yes, sir. There is something. It is not going to be fair. It's not going to be nice to hear that haven't been here for some time, haven't been coming to church steady, that by next Monday will announce that you are dead. Not because God wants you to die. Not because you committed anything. But because somebody sent death and gave that in so so time it will happen. Then what is talking to do doing here? I want to say something that will surprise you now. All this while you have been coming to church. It's okay. Please stand up, my daughter. Stand, stand. Uh, uh, is it because of that your mother thing? Don't worry. Okay? Try. All this while you have been coming to church. I've been seeing you. Most times you sit somewhere around here. Yes, sir. I've been seeing you. The truth of the matter is that this lady doesn't know that I'm seeing her. Let alone knowing that I know her. I know her very well. I will surprise you now. All this while you didn't know. I don't talk. I will just be looking at this lady is my sister from my village. <laughs> she doesn't know that I know her. All this time she has been coming to church. She, she will not believe I know her. When I tell you I'm a village man, I'm a village man. I know her very well. But she doesn't know that I know her. She come to this place and hang. And me, I will do like that I don't know. I know much, I talk less. It's not, I'm talking about the same place. <laughs> she come from the same place with me. She, she doesn't know that I know. She is thinking that I don't know. From the first time she came, eh? she came from the north. They live at Uguausa. From the first time she came, she's staying with one of her sisters here. God told me that one. Because when I saw her, I supposed maybe she came, she came home from Mugwausa and then from village she came to church. So I was expecting that she would go back. But I saw her again the next service. I saw her again the other service. Then I asked God. And God told me, that she's staying in the house of one of the sisters who is in the choir. God told me. Who happened also to come from around our village? Who may not even know that I know her? But she's a member of the choir. But I know. So she's been staying there. Coming. The reason I want to talk to her now is that by the 12th of next month, she's supposed to die. Now, they have seen it. Another prophet have seen it in Lagos. Told them that he was going to die, but doesn't know what to do. Then left it for them to start praying. Now, there are prophets who can see the problem, but they cannot offer solution. Yes, now, they will, they will give you the job of going to handle the prayer. How 
far can she pray on her own to save her life from such a critical matter? What will people like us do? I will not raise a prayer point. That is why I'm a senior officer. Amen. I will sit in the place of my office and I will say it will not happen. Amen. This one is, and I'm sure inside her now, some things will be going on. She will say, but I didn't know he knew me. <laughs> I didn't know he knew me. My sister, go, 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 go. Very well, oh. Oh, come on now. I know her to her elder brothers. I know her very well. Very well, oh. But what I do is that I will just take my time. I will just be looking at you. I wanted to know if she actually came to seek the Lord. If she actually came looking for God. Now, when I'm convinced that you came looking for God, I will bring God to you. If I'm not convinced, I will leave you. You'll be doing your thing. She doesn't know that I know. But now, what am I going to say? Don't do any fasting anymore. Amen. Don't pray any prayer anymore. Amen. Don't be in a hurry. Amen. Even if you travel home, come back. Yes, sir. Within and around the 12th of next month, you'll be here with me. Amen. Don't do anything. Amen. Don't go anywhere. Amen. Death, where is your power? I sit in the place of my office. I cancel it. It will not happen. Look for a way now. Get my number. Amen. Any of the pastors will give you my number. Yes, sir. Send my number to your brother that is in Indonesia. Yes, sir. Tell him that Tokonadu said he should call me not as his brother. He used to watch me there. Tell him to call me as Tokonadu, not as a brother. Yes, sir. He's suffering in Indonesia. Yes, sir. If I open the door for him, your family will rejoice. Amen. Let him call me between today and tomorrow. Yes, sir. Let me turn the slate. Amen. I'm the man carrying the prophetic mandate yes, sir. Yes, sir. of the God yes, sir. of talk. Yes, sir. Nadu. My dear, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe in the grace that I carry? Yes, sir. Seriously. And that is why I'm here. And I'm here for life. You believe? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, hold on. Mm -hmm. Ma, it's not those who talk. They are not the people. Does she know her? She's my senior sister. I brought her. Your senior sister? Yes, sir. This is a serious matter. Child. So this is your in-law now. That's if they ask you your in-law people, this way. This is good. This is good. Somebody is threatening to kill her. And kill the other sister of hers. That is at Lagos. And the person is serious about the matter. But ma, I ask you one more time. Do you believe in the grace that I carry? I believe. I believe. Ma, anytime anybody can touch you right in my palms, it means that something has gone wrong. Jesus said to the Father, as many as you committed into my hands, have I not lost any? The truth of the matter is this. There is a mandate that I carry. I carry a prophetic unction. It is not possible for me to lose my own. If I don't release my own, you are going nowhere. Please, open me your two hands now. Open me your two hands. Look straight to me. There is no arrangement we cannot turn. I turn this one. Let your heart be at peace. Your heart is not at peace. You are not sleeping. You are restless. You are afraid of death. Don't fear anymore. Amen. Dance it down. Nothing will happen. 
I believe you've been blessed. The word of God just came to bless you. The Lord bless you for being a part of His word. I want to give you a special invitation. I'm inviting you this Thursday. Next week, Thursday, the time is 8 a.m. in the morning. Meet me at the dwelling place of the God of Tokunanu. You won't regret coming. God will bless you massively. On Sunday is our prophetic super service. That is one meeting you can afford to fail. I'm giving you a special invitation. Come and have a nice time with God in His presence. Stay on top. Do not go away. The Lord will bless you.